Hey guys, it is Christy K and I am going to be doing a uh, transitional style for your TWA. Like for me, I'm transitioning with clips. These are my little natural clips. I got them from Amazon. They were super cheap. I saw some on Instagram, but they was like $100. And I was like, let me just see what Amazon got for me. And Amazon never lets me down. So I got those. I'm going to show you how I incorporate those. So today I just touched up my roots and made my hair a little brighter. I like to do my twist outs with my hair mostly dry because I feel like it comes out better um, when it's mostly dry. If not, I feel like it's a little frizzy. So what I did today was because I dyed my hair, after I dyed it, I washed it with a uh, Shimmer Lights purple shampoo. I hit it with some cocoa cleanser. There is a deep conditioner that came in a packet that's supposed to sit on your hair for five minutes, but um, the way this hair is set up and the moisture that it needs. I followed it with the um, Coco Repair hair mask and I sat under the dryer for 10 minutes. Then I put on this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner, which I, I always loved it, but now I really love it because this is the only time I've ever let it just dry in my hair by itself. Like this is what's been in my hair all day. It actually has a nice hold. It's pretty good on its own. So that's what I got in my hair right now. Um, I'm going to be parting my hair and sectioning it off like the top. I usually add a little twist on the side and I do twist outs here and then I put the clips in between. So if you want to see how I got this look, when I do this look, I always have twisties on the side. So I'm going to start by sectioning off my sides that I normally twist because these are the actual uh, twist outs that stay. In my head, the other ones come out. Well, most of the other ones, not even all of them come out. Sometimes I leave the center ones. Okay, I feel like I look like Krusty the Clown. So what I like to do for the first one is make like a really neat, perfect twist out right here because this is gonna be left out. Okay, so it's like a healthy amount of hair. Add some foam and a little bit of cream to hold the moisture, keep it soft. I sliced my thumb trying to make these zucchini noodles. Design Essentials also has a Shea Honey Edge Steamer, so I'm going to take a little bit of that, put it at the front of this braid. A little, a little comb and get to twisting. So whatever is left over, take another pump of foam, comb it out. Make sure that there are no tangles. And just twist it out. And this is gonna be one of the three that I uh, untwist when everything is done. Then in the front, I do one across because this is going to be like essentially my leave out. I'll leave this out too.
right same thing mousse and cream this whole collection smells so good this one i usually split them in half and go two different ways for the flat twist out So for the back, do the same thing that I did with the other two. Actually, I do it just like the front, do it in twos. It's a little way harder to do when you can't see. And the rest of them, I just lay them apart and I laid them this way so that I could put the tracks in that way. They don't have to be perfect parts because nobody can see them. So I only got two more twists left. This middle twist right here, occasionally I'll twist because this one is gonna be out. This one will be twisted. And then I might let this one out if I need some more fullness for my clips. It just depends on how they're laying. It varies all the time. So right here on the side, this is where I do my twist outs that actually stay in the entire time my hair is styled. All right, how many do I have here? So I got one, two, all right, three. down to the last braid. The braids on this side, I kind of don't care about because they don't show. So I'll just be real lazy about it. Like they don't even get no foam because I'm running low. And I'd rather save it for stuff that I like. All right, so I know it looks crazy, but trust is gonna be everything when it's done so I do it like this and I let it dry so I'm gonna let this dry overnight so I will be back probably not tomorrow but the next day actually you know what I'm gonna go grab my wig I'm gonna show you what I'm about to do for the next few days went ahead and secured the wig cap this bay right here I've had her for years she never lets me down like sometimes when I'm in between washing my hair or I don't even have time to wash my hair. I will pull her out, slide her on. And then I will be good to go for a few days. So I'll be back probably like Friday, it's a Wednesday night, to take Bay off and to finish styling this hair. Okay guys, so I add my little clip-ins. I washed and put a leave-in conditioner in them. And so just like I did a twist out on this pair, which dang, it didn't even all the way dry. I'm gonna do a twist out on these. Add a little bit of water. And my Designed Essentials foam. And this is a little hack to do twist outs 
on clip-ins. What I usually do is I clip them into my hair so that way I have a grip and I can just quickly twist them. I'm on my last little twist out. I have four of these. I'm gonna let these dry overnight. My hair isn't fully dry because I have my wig cap on. So I'm gonna let these dry and then tomorrow I'm gonna come back, put in my clips and style my hair and show you how this is done and what it will look like. Okay guys, so I'm back. My braids are completely dry. My little twist outs are dry. So what I normally do is, well, I untwist them. So let's just do that real quick. So now I have the perfect little, it's way more defined than what it was. So I have two short ones. I just figure out which one I'm gonna put in the front. And this first one right here, I'm gonna untwist that, but I use that to start laying and placing them. Because I didn't like, I should have numbered these. So I'm usually not sure. So what I will do is put them both and see which ones, how I like sit better in my front. I think I like this one to sit in my front. I'm gonna take this one here, just a little longer. And then I'm gonna take one more. We're just gonna make it nice and full. So what I do is this twist out here, <laughs> make some Vazani oil. Put that on my fingers and start unraveling this flat twist out. Slowly do it because I don't really want frizz because this is leave out essentially. Unravel these front twist outs. Untwist these back ones. And I'll take my little bobby pins and I get to pin in everything in place. This side over here is covered, so you don't really see it. So I usually don't fully unravel them, but I will tuck them and pin them up. At this point, I get to freestyling. And when stuff is on land, I just get to cutting. These pieces right here, I take them and I start twisting them up. Take some water to the back of my hair. Get it re wet. Add a little bit of mousse. Choose the comb, but I guess this wet brush will do. I'm gonna tie this down a little bit because it's not hitting how it normally hits, it's like not falling correctly. And I don't love it though, I usually love it. Just hit my little baby hairs. Okay guys, so this is my finished look for my little TWA, like little alternative style. Put my clips in, I got my hair to lay, I got my little clip in right here. Excuse the drama of my makeup, it's my birthday weekend. So I actually filmed a look on this. So if you wanna see it, go ahead and click that link right there. If you wanna see more videos with me and what I do with my hair as I'm transitioning and as I'm trying out products, go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed. Not only that, make sure that you hit that notification button. If you wanna see glam videos like this, also hit that um, notification button because I am a makeup artist. I'm just getting into this natural hair thing. So thank you guys so much for watching and until then I will see you in my next video. Mwah.